Oh, this morning should be a fun day to uh, sequence out. The rain is on the way, and Karen has a honeydew list a mile long. And I want to get Glenn's part. I want to get the next step on the paint on his part so he can take it home. Now all I need today is for it not to rain in the next two hours. And I'll have the white on Glenn's gas tank. Maybe to clear. We don't know yet. And I can take care of all Karen's gardening needs. And we're looking at the next few days being rainy and cloudy and not much chance we're going to ride. So it's a good chance for us to get our garden under control. That would really be nice and a good chance to finish up Glenn's parts. And you never know when you're going to be able to sneak in a short ride on the RD between the raindrops. Oh my god. Love that RD. Time to feed the fish and have coffee and get started. So it looks like it's dried up perfectly. Now what we need to do today, of course, because of use an airbrush, there's very little paint build up around the edge, the minimum anyway. We need to back mask off what will be the blue stripe, paint this area white. Not a giant job, but something I, it's a lot more fun to do and easier if it's not raining. But we all know what the primary job of every farmer is, feed the fish. And it looks like the rain is coming any minute, but I just hope it holds out long enough so we can get Glenn's parts. And well, every morning, looking at the wisteria this time of year, and all the flowering trees around. Get my day started off on the right note. So as I look under fluorescent lights, it looks like the bodywork is half decent anyway. This should be this should be real nice when it's done. So the first thing, of course, get out the blue tape. I need to lay out the stripe, and then the tape will have a little a seam here. I'll put an extra piece of tape over the seam so there's no chance or minimize the chance that we're going to get some bleed through around there. So there'll actually be a quarter inch stripe and then a piece of tape between the quarter inch stripe and that back masking part. And the idea of that is I don't want to take any chance that I have that extra little bleed through there. Sometimes it seems like I spend uh, half of my life or maybe more trying to beat the rain or <laughs> sometimes the rain beats me. <laughs> Almost every time it beats me. But it's still not raining, so I'm going to try to put a little, uh, a little speed on here. And again, we luckily when we started this job, I anticipated using a lot of tape on the FCR, and so I bought a whole bunch of brand new tape that has been to my advantage for a lot of reasons. It helped with the repair and the unexpected repair, of course. I just wanted to show this one thing. This would be the stripe that we have and that we want to use. But if I butt those joints up and they're butted up and pretty tight, I still run the risk that some of that paint is going to show through there. So it's just cheap insurance to put that sec second layer of tape on. And I have had nothing but bad results whenever I've tried to use up tape that's a couple of years old. I've always just made myself crazy for no reason at all. And I said, well, why don't I just buy the tape? So here's our stripe and here's our cover for the seam. And I want to make sure, of course, that that's butted down. Most of all, down in the corner here just before I airbrush it. So I just thought I'd mention something that uh, for, for sharing information purposes, uh, in a previous video I unboxed and uh, assembled my new Ryobi Weed Whacker which lasted, I'm sure there was something defective about it, about 30 seconds into the operation the motor started smoking like a two stroke and <laughs> obviously it's going to go back to Amazon and just to be fair about it and my first Ryobi Weed Whacker lasted a long time. It really was, and it's got some real heavy duty service. This one was in the 30 second to 45 second range, but so this is what happens when you try to be eco ecologically friendly and you go with all electric stuff. 
But anyway, the good news is Joe Roselli uh, confirmed my opinion. Karen has returned so many things to Amazon. They they pretty much, even those GoPro cameras that I use as a brief, fake GoPro cameras, they take them back. It's no problem. So it, it gives me a lot of confidence in uh, the American way of life. This, this, is, this is the world we're headed for. Cheap products and just replace them. And I love it. <laughs> and I'm one of them. I think they're going to replace me pretty soon. Okay, we're all back masked up. Time to get out the good old Wada airbrush and some white touch-up paint and see if, there, see if we can beat the rain today. Just tack rag this down and we'll be all set to go. Looks like it's not raining yet. <laughs> we'll see if it's our lucky day. Okay, the whole idea of using the airbrush, of course, is to minimize the paint edge. The only downside is we'll have to fill a cup a few times. A small price to pay for being able to do this. Now the only thing, I've said this every time I use it, I want an airbrush. This is a good unit. And the only thing you can do wrong with these is not clean them right at the end of the use. And what I do, and maybe I ought to do it on video, I dump the whole end of the cup into a, a jar of acetone and run just let it make bubbles for four or five minutes. If it's worth it because the next day when you go to use it, it works right away. All right, that's gonna have to dry 15, 20 minutes. We'll go have a cup of coffee, relax a little bit. And if it isn't raining now, of course, we're always subject to the weather. If it isn't raining 15, 20 minutes from now, we'll mix up some clear and shoot two coats of clear on there. But it's all subject to the weather. What I wanted to show is I'm done with the painting. I can take the cap off. There's no paint inside. I let that sit right in this is acetone by the way and just let it make bubbles for a minute or two scoop up some of that acetone and if you do that and you wipe it clean with a paper towel next time you go to use it it'll be a piece of cake oh there's nothing better when you're waiting for some paint to kick off We'll be able to shoot clear. So far, it's not raining, but we are putting a little bit of speed on. And the birds are very predictable today as I sit here and take a little break. The same thing every morning. Feed me. Feed me. Okay, everything's dried up now. Looks like it's ready for clear so far. Last, last little project here we'll have. We're not going to have time today because Karen wants to go to the garden center. But... And then the box up and return with poor Ryobi. This, what happened here, this motor lasted about, I'm guessing 30 seconds. And from the smell that came out of here, the only smell I've ever heard, I've ever heard, I've ever smelled is when you get a bad ballast in a fluorescent light. It's, so these modern things, they must melt down or something. Who the hell knows? Everything's made in China anyway. So it's ironic that we're at the end of uh, the painting season here and we are, for all purposes, out of clear. Though that gallon, that gallon served us well. But anyway, we got enough to do Glenn's job. 5172, 5186. 
They work pretty well under the shop conditions here, damp around 65 degrees and always trying to beat the rain. It looks like it's not raining yet. I mixed up the clear. So we'll have about an hour, I think, if we can get two coats on, 20 minutes apart. That would be wonderful. Would make my day complete, of course, if we can get this done. Get it into the garage drying. Clean all the equipment and basically run off to the garden center this afternoon and buy plants. I'm sure Karen's looking forward to that. Okay, I got two coats of clear on there. Roughly 20 minutes apart is good. That seems to work under our weather shop conditions. And believe it or not, believe it or not, this is the big thing of the day. The rain is coming. Karen has advised me they're predicting rain an hour from now, so it looks like we just beat the system. That's pretty unusual too. So this is yet another 18 project in the bank. It looks like we're coming up on the end of our painting season, and boy, I can't wait. I can't wait to start riding him regularly, riding him re all my children. It's like a TV show. Anyway, I hope you picked up some little information. I hope your Ryobi doesn't catch fire. Uh, seems like they take them back, so I guess they know, like, a certain amount of them are bad. I don't know. All I know is we have a pretty good life. <laughs> Despite our incompetence, we have a pretty good life. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video and, and thanks for watching.